Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, it's the world of Wayne. We're now doing part 31 of Hero Collectors Build the Ecto-1. Okay, now in this stage, we're gonna be doing the left uh, leaf spring. Quite a lot to do in this one, really fiddly as well. So let's show you the magazine. So as you can see, we're gonna be putting the ends on the leaf spring. It is important we put these on the right end. So when it comes around to doing that, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, then we're gonna be putting that onto, I call this the differential. Is that what it's called? I'm guessing it's the differential. Uh, and then we're gonna be attaching a shock absorber, making a shock absorber and attaching it to the vehicle. Then, we're going to be putting all of this on the car. There's going to be a lot of tossing and turning of the car in this one. Then we're going to be putting the drive shaft in all the way down there, putting the leaf spring on. And then these little bits that we had here that we were saving for another time there, uh, we're going to put one of those on there. Now, we're going to do the left rear spring then without further ado, let's get cracking. So this is everything we've got in the box, including the leaf spring here. And uh, all of this is metal. Absolutely everything in here is metal. Now, I've taken the leaf spring out already because it has got to go a certain way round for the first part that we're working on. Okay, so we've got two ends of this. Now, if you have a look at this, probably on the side camera here, you'll see that from the center, we've got a small sort of like leaf there. Uh, and then we've got the bracket. And on this side, we've got a longer side and then the bracket. It's the one with the smaller side here, the bracket first that we're gonna need because we're gonna be attaching a bracket onto this end here. So the first bracket we're gonna put on looks just like this. And quite simply, this is just gonna go over the top like that. And it's gonna be held in with an LM screw. Now we've got hundreds of screws in this issue and that's what the LM screw looks like. So we'll get them open. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this end on here like that now even though we're not going into metal we're going through uh, i've just had a quick try of this to see if i need any oil and uh, it's become apparent that yes yes i do but i'm going to put one side in and then we'll do the other side and then we'll tighten them up completely because uh this is quite hard to get this in making sure it's lined up and once again put that in It's very hard to push this in. So the secret here is take your time, let the screw cut. It gets to a point where it's cut the actual thread that it needs to do and then it goes in really easy. We'll do the other side here. So again, push it hard. The reason you need to push it hard is so you don't round that screw up there. Making sure this is in. Once again, screw it in. And then after a certain amount of <laughs> screwing, as you can see, that's in. That wasn't that easy, to be honest with you. That was really hard. And there we go. That's the first bracket in. Now, on the other side, we've got some more brackets to put in. But this time, we've got these two brackets that look just like this. Now, one of these has got a little sign on it which says L-O. Just checking the other one. And you've got L in. So one stands for leaf inner and one stands for leaf outer. So this side here is the outer side. and This side here is the inner side. So once again, these are going to go in. If you have a look at these, you've actually got sort of like a thicker section there. We want that to be pointing inwards towards the uh, spring on both sides. And it's all going to be held together with a PM screw. And it's just one PM screw. These are really long screws. Look, if you check them out really long they gave us three in this one but i only need one for the minute and the screw's going to be going through the lo side so i'm just making sure i've got the right one which is that one i think i'm going to start this screwing now as a matter of fact because of the uh hassle i had before i'm going to just drop that in a little bit of oil as well okay so i've already started the uh screw through the uh lo side of this uh, bracket here. So we can put that in here. I'm just gonna push it through just like that. And it's gonna screw to the other side here when I put this bracket in as well. I'm gonna hold that into place and we'll screw that in. Probably best like that. Just like that. 
doesn't matter where these brackets are going because obviously look I can turn them around now that's going to hold that into place so I've got both sides with both brackets in just like that so the next thing we need is the rear axle looking just like that uh, and we're going to be taking the leaf spring and we need to make sure we put this on the right side so we're obviously we've got this side here and we've got this side here with the bracket on the bottom the side with the bracket on the bottom is going to be going towards the front where the uh drive shaft's going to be going into so when we put this in like this it's going to look just like that so the open bracket bottom there is that side the closed bracket's going to be that side there this is what the bracket looks like and once again this is all metal this is going to be going into this way we've got two pegs just at the bottom there that's going to go over those two holes just there just like that and to hold all this together we're just going to be using an nm screw now i've already put this in some oil so it should go in nice and smooth put that in there that's in but uh it needs to be nice and tight because we're never going to get a chance to get to this again there we go and that's as tight as that's going to go so now the leaf springs attached to the differential, the rear axle. I don't know what the uh, common name is for that. I keep calling it a differential. <laughs> I suppose this part's the differential and that's the whole axle, isn't it? So we can put that to one side because now we're going to be working on the shock, shock absorber. Now that means we're going to be working on some really tiny parts now. So for the shock absorber, we've got the uh, inner post, the spring, and we've got the casing for it. We're also going to need a BM screw. So I better get that ready because when you're working with screws, they seem to go off in all directions <laughs> and i'll get that pre-loaded up here now the screwdriver is magnetic so it should hold itself in as you can see there i'll just drop that in some oil so that's all ready okay so what we want to do is we want to take the shock absorber mount looking just like this with an open side there and we're going to be pushing the spring in so the spring just fits into that side just like that then we're going to be putting the uh, inner shock absorber post in and that's going to go in this way with the uh, smaller lug just following the spring that we just put in now that's already under tension. <laughs> so what we're gonna have to do is push it down, make sure that the hole's lined up here. Oh God, this is gonna be hard. And then put that screw in onto the side here. Now I've started the screw, put it all the way in. Oh wow, <laughs> I've done that first time. So now <laughs> look at that, we've just made a shock absorber. We're gonna make sure that this goes in all the way. There we go, it doesn't go in anymore. So look, that now, it's like a pen. <laughs> it's bouncy. <laughs> I can't believe I've done that first go. But there you go, that's what that should look like when that's completed. We're going to be putting the shock absorber in the engine now. Now we've got two holes here. We've got a large hole and in between this bracket here, there's a smaller hole with a tiny lug on top of it. Now that lug is actually just going to be your guide for when we actually put the shock absorber in. Because you see there's a, a little bite out of it there. So when we put this in, this is going to be going around this way like oh god just like that now the thing is we need to secure this in from the other side so if we remember that's where that's going to go i'm going to turn it over and we're going to sort of try and line it up uh <laughs> this is going to be hard it might be better to put it on its side actually to do this but i'm just making sure i don't want to break the wheels you see so let's try that now I've started putting the screw in, but I haven't put it in fully until I can actually see that I'm actually located this the exact way that it goes. Because this is going to be going into this hole here. So I'm going to have to try and line this up to put this in. And I'm going to have to connect the screw from the top. This is going to be really hard to do. Oh my God. So it's probably easier to do this with it lined up on its side like this. So I've got that exactly where it needs to be. I'll start screwing this uh, screw in here. I want to make sure it's the round the right way. Which, oh my God, I've got it in first time. Can you believe that? So I'm going to tighten this up completely now. Definitely best to have it on its side when you do this. And there we go. That's in absolutely completely. That was hard. But when that shock absorber's in, it should be in like that. As you can see, it can still bounce up and down there. Okay, so take your time on this section here because that was pretty tricky to put in. But I think the way to do it is to put it on its side there. Okay, so now we're going to be putting the uh, 
Left leaf spring and rear axle on the vehicle. It's probably best to just line up these ends here with these two holes here uh, because this section here will automatically sit just over the shock absorber here. So what I'm going to do is plug this end in like that on this side. Do the same on the other side there. That's going to sit perfectly in there. And we're going to be putting a screw just into this side here to hold this part in place. And that's going to need an RM screw. So I've got the RM screws here. I'll get that all ready to put in and load up with oil. And then I've got to flip the vehicle over to screw this in. OK, when we put this leaf spring in place, we need to make sure that these sections here are actually up like this at the moment. We don't want them crossed over. I only had them crossed over while it's been in storage. So we need to make sure these are up like that. So then when I put this in now, just like that, this is going to be going through the hole just here that we've got on this side here, like that. Secure this in with an RM screw, which looks just like that. I'll turn this on the side to put that in. I haven't put it in tightly because I've still got to put the drive shaft in. So I'll do that again all the way down through the vehicle, avoiding the pipes into the engine. Get in there just like that. Put this side in like that. Excellent. Tighten this up. And when that's in, as you can see, we've got this bracket here is going through this section of the bracket on the top of the leaf spring. And this side is in nice and tight. Now we need to secure the leaf spring to the suspension strut that we put in here. We need to do that with a CM screw. And this is what the CM screw looks like. So we get them open. And we'll put that in. Once again, I'm going to drop this into oil. Every single part you see is metal. Put this section in here and screw that into place. Nice and tight, and there we go. So we've got some bounce in that now. So as you can see, that's in quite rigidly there. Uh, we've only got the, the other side to put in here, but uh, we now just need to secure the leaf spring in here with these two brackets. That's gonna be held in another one of these PM screws, which if you remember was one of these big long ones we had here, which I've just dropped, looking just like that. I'm just going to drop the end of that into oil and it's going to be going in from this way and I've just got to line this up with the bodywork so it's probably best to see actually where this is going to go okay this isn't going to be easy because of the uh, exhaust here I'm just moving the exhaust out the way to get this in it's in one side just got to come out the other side there there we go I'm going to secure that into place to get this in you're going to need to lift this back end of the exhaust up but that's gone in pretty easy to be honest with you tightening it up that leaf spring is going absolutely nowhere now now as you can see this exhaust is free to move around here so the next thing we're going to be doing is turning the vehicle over and we're going to be securing this end of the exhaust in so i need to screw the exhaust down now which is through this side here remember it's this side of the car which i suppose is the uh the driver's side so put that in like that that's going to hold that exhaust in nice and tight Turn the vehicle over again. Oh, amount of times we had to do this. Because we're going to be putting on one of these brackets that we had from one of the previous issues. Okay, it's probably best to look at the picture that I'm going to place down the bottom here. But this is the bracket that we're going to need. And it's going to go over the end of the exhaust there to keep that into place. And we're going to secure that in with a BM screw. Now, once again, this is going into metal. I will put that into some uh, oil. It's quite a small screw, that one. Dab that in. And it's going to be hard to sort of line this up because the exhaust is in the way. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll start this. Oh, this is going to be hard. I'll start the screw in the hole first, just like that. Then we'll put the bracket on. Hold that in place with my finger behind and then tighten that up from the top. There we go. Nice and tight. And there's that bracket into place. And that is stage 31 complete.
So there you go, that's issue 31 completed. Quite a tricky one, but the good news is in issue 33, we would have already done it. In issue 33, we're doing the right leaf spring. But uh, I enjoyed that. In the next episode, we're going to be doing one of the wheels for the uh, Ecto-1. Now, if you want to get hold of the Ecto-1 for yourself, just head on over to the links down here. Uh, the top one will take you to the US site and the bottom one takes you to the UK site. It's also in the video description. If those links aren't working for you, I'll put the full web address underneath each of the links as well. Uh, try that and you should be able to click and go over to the Hero Collector website to order this for yourself. Uh, these links basically just say that you've come from the World of Wayne YouTube channel. But uh, I think you're gonna really enjoy this build if you haven't started it for yourself. And as you can see, sitting up on the shelf there, it's a monster, <laughs> it's massive. But uh, I really do hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.